Stephen James Ireland is an Irish professional footballer who plays as an attacking midfielder for Premier League club Stoke City. Ireland began his career with Cobb Ramblers before joining English club Manchester City in 2001. He made his professional debut in September 2005 and soon established himself as a regular at the City of Manchester Stadium and his performances saw him earn international recognition with Republic of Ireland. However, a row with Steve Staunton saw his international career come to an abrupt end. In September 2010 Ireland was transferred to Aston Villa in a swap deal with James Milner. After a slow start to his Villa career he was loaned out to Newcastle United where he only played twice. In the 2011 Euro 12 season he improved and won the Fans Player of the Season award. However he fell out of the first team under Paul Lambert and in September 2013 he joined Stoke City on loan before making the move permanent in January 2014. Club career equals Early career equals, Born in Cork, County Cork, Ireland started his career in Cobb, playing junior football for Cobb Ramblers, a team his father Michael has previously played for. As a schoolboy, Ireland had trials with a number of British clubs, though several were discouraged by his Osgood Schlatter disease, which he suffered from in his mid-teens. He eventually chose Manchester City, where he moved in August 2001, as a 15-year-old. Equals Manchester City equals, in 2005, at the age of 18, he joined English Premier League club Manchester City. He played for the first team in a number of pre-season friendlies and made his competitive debut on September 18, 2005 against Bolton Wanderers, coming on as an 81st-minute substitute. He subsequently made his first competitive start against Doncaster Rovers on September 21, 2005. He won the Man of the Match award on his first Premier League start against Everton on October 2, 2005. He then started the next six matches for City which won him a contract to keep him at the club until 2009. In the remainder of the season he participated in around half of Manchester City's matches, ending the season with a total of 16 starts and 12 substitute appearances. On December 26, Ireland scored his first Premier League goal for City, a left-footed volley from 20 yards. The goal proved to be the only goal in a vital 1-0 victory at Sheffield United's Bramall Lane. On February 18, Ireland rounded off the scoring for Manchester City in a 3 Euro 1 away win over Preston North End in the fifth round of the FA Cup with a stunning volley from outside the area. Having started the 2007 Euro 08 Premier League season well with City, Ireland scored the only goal, a volley, in a 1 Euro 0 home win over Sunderland. His celebration for the goal courted some controversy. Ireland dropped his shorts to reveal a pair of underpants sporting the Superman logo, however the FA decided a warning would be the fairest course of action. Then in November against Reading he scored to keep Manchester City's home record at 100%. Two weeks later he was sent off in the 2 Euro 1 loss at Tottenham Hotspur and received a three-match ban. Ireland scored a goal in the reverse fixture which led Manchester City to a 2 a Euro 1 home victory over Spurs. He scored his final goal of the season with a sweet strike in the 2 a Euro 3 loss to Fulham. He got the ball just outside the left side of the penalty box and curved it over Casey Keller into the top right corner. He finished the 2007 a Euro 08 season with four goals. He returned to the first team in a good individual and team performance in the 3 a Euro 0 win against West Ham United. He finished the match with two assists, crossing for Elano to strike home. He opened his tally in the 3 Euro 0 away win at Sunderland. He scored again the into a Euro 2 draw at Newcastle United on October 20. He scored both goals in the 2 Euro 2 draw at Hull City on November 16, and opened the score in the successive league match against Arsenal. After netting in a 2 Euro 1 win over Everton, Ireland took his season's tally to 13 in a memorable season for the Irishman. On May 20, 2009, he was named Manchester City's Senior Player of the Year for his blistering performances throughout the 2008 Euro 09 season and as a result has secured a new five-year contract, keeping him at the club until 2014. He later became the Greater Manchester Player of the Year. 
He opened his account in the 2009 Euro 10 season with an opening day goal in the 2 Euro 0 win at Blackburn Rovers. In December 2009, Mark Hughes was sacked as manager and was replaced by former Inter Milan manager Roberto Mancini. With the good form of Nigel de Jong, Vincent Company and new signing Patrick Vieira at the club, Ireland spent most of the second half of the season as a substitute. By the end of the 2009 Euro 10 season, he only scored three goals, which were all before Mancini's arrival. The club's manager Roberto Mancini said Ireland must change his head in order to play. I don't know what he is thinking about his future but, for me, Stephen is a fantastic player and if he can change his head I think he can start to play like last season, 2008 Euro 09, again. Equals Aston Villa equals, at the start of the 2010 Euro 11 Premier League season, Ireland was targeted to be transferred with loan to Aston Villa in exchange for James Milner, but the deal was held up when he demanded a £2 million from Manchester City to agree to the move. On August 17, 2010 it was reported the deal had been done, and he was at Aston Villa's Bodymore Heath training ground for a medical. The final price was a £8 million in a part exchange for Milner. Ireland signed a four-year deal with the Midlands club. After completing the move, Ireland criticised his former club, saying that its young players were money-obsessed, and that, I guess James Milner must think the grass is greener on the other side. He's going to get a shock soon because it's definitely not that way. Ireland made his debut for the club on his 24th birthday in an away fixture at Newcastle United. Ireland started and played for the full duration of the game as Villa were beaten 6 a Euro 0. However, by the end of October 2010, Ireland had been dropped from the Villa team with manager Gerard Houllier publicly stating that he needs to work harder at his game. On the final day of the transfer window, January 31, 2011, Ireland joined Newcastle United on loan until the end of the season, with a view to a permanent deal. Ireland was already injured when he joined Newcastle and suffered a number of setbacks, including a controversial nightclub incident with teammate Leon Best the night before a match. He finally made his debut on April 19, 2011 in a 0-0 Euro draw with Manchester United, appearing as a 65th minute substitute. However, after appearing only twice and playing just 49 minutes of football for the Tyneside club, Ireland was ruled out for the rest of the season with an ankle injury, and was returned to Aston Villa. At the start of the 2011 Euro 12 season, Ireland stated his intentions to remain at Aston Villa and fight for his place in the team under new manager Alex McLeish, despite having a disappointing first term at the club. It was also confirmed that he would take the number 7 jersey from Ashley Young who had recently joined Manchester United. Alex McLeish warned Ireland to create headlines on the pitch after being pictured posing with Shisha Pipe on Twitter. On December 31, 2011, Ireland scored his first ever goal for Villa in a 3 Euro 1 away win at Chelsea, scoring the opener and assisting the third goal in a man of the match winning performance. At the end of the season, after some impressive displays, Ireland was voted Aston Villa's supporters player of the season. After a positive start to the 2012 Euro 13 season, Ireland broke a bonus his wrist during Villa's 4 Euro 1 loss away at Southampton on September 22nd in which he had assisted a Darren Bent goal. Manager Paul Lambert revealed it would rule him out for a few weeks. Despite this good start, Ireland failed to perform consistently throughout the rest of the season and played his last game of the season on January 22, 2013. At the end of the season Ireland was heavily linked with a move away from the club and began training with the reserves. Equals Stoke City equals. On September 2, 2013 Ireland joined Stoke City on loan for the 2013 Euro 14 season, which would see him link up with Mark Hughes. Speaking after joining Stoke, Ireland hopes that his loan spell will help resurrect his career a Euro E to Euro unregistered trademark has been really frustrating as I take my job seriously and E to Euro unregistered trademark has been difficult for me not being on the team bus playing games. This is a big year for me and I never got a run of games at Villa. E to Euro unregistered trademark has been very up and down and is hard to take because E to Euro unregistered trademark they always trained properly and been professional. 
year Euro unregistered trademark I'm just so grateful to the manager here at Stoke for giving me the opportunity to build up my career again. Year Euro unregistered trademark They absolutely got a point to prove and Year Euro unregistered trademark I'm dying to get back into the swing of things. This is a massive opportunity and Year Euro unregistered trademark I'm still only 27. It's a vital year for me to be playing week in, week out. Ireland made his Stoke debut on September 14, 2013 in a 0 a Euro 0 draw against his former club Manchester City. Ireland scored his first goal for Stoke on September 25, 2013 in a 2 a Euro 0 League Cup win over Tramair Rovers. On November 9, 2013 he scored against Swansea City in a 3 a Euro 3 draw. He made his move permanent on January 14, 2014. On April 15, 2014 Ireland signed a new three-year contract with Stoke keeping him contracted until the summer of 2017. Ireland played 29 times in 2013 a Euro 14 as Stoke finished in ninth position. Ireland scored twice in the FA Cup against Rexham on January 4, 2015. He also scored in the next round against Rochdale. On February 28, 2015 Ireland suffered a deep cut on his calf which required 15 stitches following a challenge by Hull City defender Mena Figueroa. International career, Ireland represented Ireland at under-15, under-16 and under-17 level, but when called up to under-18 level he had a dispute with coach Brian Kerr after he was left out of the side and told to watch the match from the stands. The team lost the match for a Euro Zero and Kerr suggested Ireland would be involved in the next match. When Ireland was again left out, he requested to return to his club, and Kerr informed him that he would never play for the Republic of Ireland while Kerr was manager. In January 2006 Kerr was replaced as Ireland manager by Steve Staunton. In Staunton's first squad, for a match against Sweden, Ireland received a senior call-up for the first time. Ireland came on a substitute in the match replacing John O'Shea. He scored his first international goal on October 7, 2006 in a 5 a Euro 2 loss to Cyprus. On February 7, 2007 Stephen Ireland saved the Republic of Ireland from a humiliating draw with San Marino with a last-minute injury time goal. Final score was 2 a Euro 1. On March 24, 2007, he scored the first ever goal in Croke Park against Wales. This was his third international goal in just four matches. He also scored against Slovakia in Bratislava on September 8, 2007. Equals controversy equals, in September 2007, Ireland was at the center of controversy when, in the immediate aftermath of a Republic of Ireland international match and days before their crunch game against the Czech Republic, Coach Steve Staunton informed him of a telephone call just received from his girlfriend reporting the death of his maternal grandmother. Staunton quickly consented to Ireland's compassionate leave on these grounds, a private jet was chartered for his return. However the media quickly discovered that Ireland's grandmother was not dead, at which point Ireland announced it was his paternal grandmother who died but yet again, reporters discovered that Ireland's paternal grandmother was also still alive and her relatives had threatened to sue one newspaper that reported her death. Ireland changed his story again, saying one of his grandfathers had divorced, and it was his second wife who had died. That was also quickly discovered to be untrue. Ireland eventually came out with the truth, admitting he had invented a reason to leave the Irish team in order to visit his girlfriend in Cork, who, he claimed, had a miscarriage. I decided at that stage that I must tell the truth and admit I had told lies, Ireland said. I realize now it was a massive mistake to say my grandmothers had died and I deeply regret it. Equals XL equals, speculation abounded that Ireland might make himself available for a call up to the national squad to face Georgia on February 11, 2009. However, when the squad was announced on January 19, the player's name did not feature and Liam Brady took the opportunity to explain to the press that he and Trapatini has previously come to an agreement with the player whereby he would inform them when he felt like playing again, and that so far no contact had been made from the player's end.
On February 19 it was reported that Ireland had intimated to Manchester City teammate Shea Given that he would like to represent Ireland at the World Cup in South Africa in 2010 and that a return to the international fold was imminent, but when the Irish squad to face Bulgaria on March 28 and Italy on April 1 was announced, his name was once again omitted. Trapattini revealed at the accompanying press conference that he himself did not believe Ireland would return claiming that when he had met with the player months previously he had appeared withdrawn and reluctant to look the Ireland manager in the eye. Ireland has now said that he will probably not return to the national team, I always say never say never because it's hard not to, but I don't think I'll ever go back. In August 2010, he restated that he would not return, I watch Ireland matches like anyone else might do at this stage, but I'd only a Euro unregistered trademark T feel a part of it at all. It do us a Euro unregistered trademark T make me feel like I should go back play again. That question is gone for me and the answer won a Euro unregistered trademark T changed my mind. On March 30, 2012, Ireland suggested that he would be willing to return to international football after Euro 2012. In May 2014, after unsuccessful attempts at trying to contact Ireland by Republic of Ireland manager Martin O'Neill, Ireland's agent got in touch with the FAI to say that he would not be available for the friendly games against Turkey, Italy, Costa Rica and Portugal. Personal life, Ireland is married and has three children. He owns a home in Presbury, Cheshire and a number of custom-built vehicles. He also has a number of tattoos including a pair of angel wings on his back. Club statistics equals club equals, as of match played October 19, 2015 equals international equals honors individual FAI young international player of the year 2007 Manchester City player of the season 2009 Aston Villa fans player of the season 2012 references external links Stephen Ireland career statistics at Soxabase ESPN profile Premier League profile